very windy day here in Ireland today. I'm down here in the south of Ireland in the Comer Mountains. And uh, yeah, I have a very special little spot that I want to camp at tonight. I wasn't expecting all this wind. <laughs> it wasn't in the forecast. So we'll see how sheltered the spot it is. I'm just gonna pop that into my pocket because I couldn't be arsed taking off my bag. <laughs> it's amazing what you find up in the hills. too windy to stay here tonight. I'm not out here trying to break my gear so I'm gonna head back up and see if I can find a spot with wind. Whew. Oh this is a slog. <laughs> I realized as I got to the top of that steep bit there that I don't have any water with me. <laughs> I was meant to take it out of the river so not only do I have to find a camping spot but I also need to find a water source up here because I am not going back down there, I tell you that. I should have known better. I think I was just being a bit optimistic, you know, hoping that that might be a sheltered little spot down there, but it was the worst spot I could have went. <laughs> I have 50 minutes, yeah, 50 minutes to the sunset, so I need to find the spot fairly quick. I thought that looked too good to be true. Turns out I was right. If it works out that I have to hike all the way back down and camp somewhere really low, I'm more than happy to do that. I just want to be out in my tent, you know. Look at the stay of it. <laughs> I reckon I'm gonna pop the tent right there. I'm just trying to work out if it's flat enough, but <laughs> Might be a case of it'll have to do, you know. Whew, the ground up here is rough out. Rough out. The problem with this tent is that the inner is at an angle. So you have to pitch it arseways to get it in line with the flat spot on the ground. <laughs> oh boys. Never a dull moment. swapping these smaller pegs because they're already pulling out with the wind so putting in the big boys <laughs> so that's the tent sorted I've had to put on a few layers because I'm absolutely freezing <laughs> and it looks like there might be some unforecasted rain on the way sure why not <laughs> bring it on you know I didn't realize that I'd have to come down this far but I'm happy that I did because there's no water sources back there and uh, I passed one here on the way up so happy days I know that that'll do the job but it doesn't look too sexy and I know there's a better one <laughs> so uh, yeah in a pinch I'd use it but there's a better option just up over the hill oh yeah bugger yeah that'll do I can relax now. It does look like there is a big shower of rain coming. I'm hoping it's gonna miss me, but I'm right beside the Atlantic Ocean, so anything could happen. <laughs> uh, 
I have another ration pack for today. I don't know what it is, I haven't looked, I promise you, I haven't looked at it. So uh, it's menu two, beef shredded in barbecue sauce. Oh, I've had this one. <laughs> I've had this one, this is savage. Uh, yeah, I had this one. I've only ever had one ration pack before I bought the big batch and this is the one, so really, really happy with that. I just lucky dip straight out of the box because you know yourself, you'll pick all the ones you really want to have and then you'll end up with all the crappy ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it as a surprise each time. But yeah, this is savage. I haven't figured out how to heat up the, the meat or use the heater in it. So I think I'll just do it in the pot because that way I'm guaranteed a hot meal and I don't want to be messing about. I've had a tough enough day as it, as it is. <laughs> right, I need a knife to open this. <coughs> Right, I have it. That's <laughs> Swiss Army knife. I never go anywhere without this. Well, anywhere outdoors, you know. I'm going hiking or camping or anything like that. I always have my Swiss Army knife. Because it's just handy, you know. I'm going to leave that for a minute because I am parched. Absolutely parched. Oh yeah. I can see rain. <laughs> I can see rain. Oh jeez. That's the good stuff. Right, let's have an old gawk at this and see what we have on tonight's menu. <laughs> I do have rich tea, because I'm not crazy. And I have porridge and a bit of fruit there for the morning, just if I feel a bit peckish. Put this weapon away. <laughs> right, what have we got? That is the beef in barbecue sauce. We have black beans in a seasoned sauce. I don't remember that the last time. Interesting. Oatmeal cookie. I definitely didn't have that the last time. I wonder if there are like, the same mains in different menus. Pretty sure I had beef and barbecue sauce that first time. Anyway, we'll carry on. Tortillas, I had tortillas. Lovely, happy to see them. What's this? Beverage base powder, orange. Oh, let me try that. You get your spoon. Uh, that's just a bag of mints. Freeze dried coffee, Bill's Brew, which is pretty cool. Let me try that. What else have we got? Cheese spread with jalapenos. I didn't try that the last time because I'm not really into spicy or hot stuff, but I'll give it a go this time, and we'll see if I start crying and schnatting. <laughs> so that's the heat pouch that I am not gonna use this time. Where did I put the lighter? Oh my God. It's just one of them days. Even the tripod broke today. One of the legs kept falling off, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to sort that. Ah, light. Just, I'm gonna get gas myself over there now in a minute. Oh no. Well, hey, you bugger. I'm just gonna let it, you know, come to a gradual heat. <laughs> I don't want the thing exploding in there. I'm gonna have a rich tea or two while I'm waiting. Because I'm just, oh, I forgot I brought Jaffa cakes. Oh, two Jaffa cakes. I'm gonna have those. And the rich tea, sure, why not? Ruin me dinner altogether. That's a nice little surprise. I forgot I put them in there. Nice, they're probably stale, but <laughs> they'll do. Oh my god, they're crunchy. They're not meant to be crunchy. Tea fixes everything. If you weren't aware. <laughs> I 
Right, that's up to a boil, so I'm just gonna let it simmer while I pop a few layers on because it is chilly. Happy days. I'm not gonna put the gloves on because it's just pain in the arse with the army ration pack and all that. I get out the tortillas so we have everything ready. Two tortillas, happy days. We'll try the jalapenos, but like I say, I'm not too keen on it now. So that's what I'm dealing with there now. Anyway, let's just see. My tortillas are torn, not, not cool, not cool. Ah oh, no, that's not cool, look. Completely broken in half. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a disaster, guys. So this is what we're dealing with. A very tiny tortilla. I'm going to see what this beef looks like now. Woohoo, yeah, boy. This is going to be messy, I can already tell. There's a fox or something. Something's being killed over there. <laughs> I can just hear screams. It sounds like a fox. Right, I'm gonna eat this like a, I don't know, like I don't know what, like a tortilla, I suppose. That is the business. Oh, I can feel the jalapenos. Oh yeah, that's the job. Happy days, I'm delighted with that. I'm just heating up the beans. I have no idea what to expect from this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm letting myself in for. But sure, look, we'll give them a bash. I did think about the the orange drink, and because I have no water filter with me, I'd have to heat up the water and then have hot orange. So I don't fancy it. Oh, lovely! A bit of a bit of wool. There's wool flying around all over the place over here. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, it's all right. And then I got a taste. So I was like, no. <laughs> well, you know what? I think I'll, I'll carry on and hopefully I'll have a few nice bites of it. I'm just going to pop this on my head so I know where it is. <laughs> I hate when you're, you just can't find something, you know? searching through the whole tent. I actually have a little knick-knack bag, you know? You know those bits of gear that you just don't have a home for. They go in there. All the little knick-knacks. <laughs> so they all go in there now. Try to keep things organized, you know? I'm gonna get another cup of tea on the go. Sit back and relax. Chill me beans, you know? Oh yeah, those beans. You know? I wouldn't recommend them. <laughs> I would not recommend those. There's a few slugs knocking around. <laughs> I have to watch those lads. I woke up one morning and one was in the bottom of my cup. I wasn't impressed. I wasn't able to have my tea. It was not a good morning. <laughs> I've been sitting here for 36 minutes. I've had a cup of tea, this is my my other cup of tea. I was just thinking to myself, like I'm so happy that I decided to pack it in at the other spot. If I had it set in my head that that's where I was going to camp and that was it, then I would have been floating around over there for who knows how long, trying to get the tent pitched in a fairly sheltered position. And then it would have been getting too dark to go and find somewhere else to camp so I think it's important to kind of lower your expectations a bit <laughs> you know just yeah like the main goal for tonight was just to 
get out in the tent, you know. Just get out and enjoy being out. So I'm delighted, absolutely delighted. And I'm delighted with myself as well for just, just calling it, you know, when I did. And the last thing I want to be doing is coming out and destroying my gear, you know. I don't want to break a tent just just to be out, you know what I mean? I would have rather just pack it in altogether and just go home because it's not worth it, you know, it's just not worth it. Imagine two o'clock in the morning your tent breaks and either you use it as a bivvy to get you through the night or you're packing up and you're hiking out in the dark in bad weather as well. So like that's not safe to be doing that. So um, yeah, there's a few things to consider. <laughs> Let's just say that, a few things to consider. But uh, definitely happy with the decision I made. And hopefully the spot is flat enough to get a good sleep tonight. It is very early in the morning. <laughs> Seven minutes past five. The sunrise is 19 minutes past six. So we've lots of time for the cup of tea and the breakfast and the holla. I don't think we're going to get a sunrise. It's just my prediction. Um, I can hear some rain. It's very windy and it is very, very cold. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> If the weather is to, believe, to be believed, it's a minus one wind chill. So, I think I'll have to start packing a, a, my, my heavier quilt and all the, you know. I'm nearly in a full winter setup apart from the quilt, you know. So, I think I may start packing that. <laughs> the end of April. <laughs> oh, God. When, do, when does the, the hot weather get here? Because yesterday it looked warm. And it was warm when the wind wasn't there. But poof. That was some lazy wind. Wouldn't even go around you. It would just go through you. <laughs> oh, lads. Oh, I can't wait to get this cup of tea. I have my boots as a kind of a, a hold all here. Just try and keep things a bit. Organized, stop them blown away. I'm too afraid to open the outside door, so <laughs> I'm just gonna chill in here for a little bit. Let's check out this oatmeal cookie and see what the story is. Well, it's 300 calories, we got. I assume it's a, a breakfast type of thing. That's what you're dealing with. I don't have anything to go with unless I want to use up the rest of the jalapeno cheese bread, which I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to do that this morning. Crunchy. It's all right though. Might possibly break a tooth trying to eat it, but it's all right. I do like this little cup. It only weighs, what, 25 grams? It's absolutely tiny but there's no insulation in it so it goes cold relatively quickly <laughs> whereas my other cup weighs 150 grams and it keeps the tea hot for ages which is ideal so the next time I might bring that because it is Baltic maybe I'm just not used to it you know because I hadn't been camping for so long but it is it's cold. I'll have to toughen up, you know. Stop whinging. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm here though. So happy I'm here. I'm so happy I didn't stay at the other spot. I know I said it already, but yeah. That would have been very foolish of me to try and stay there. Would have ended up bailing out on the whole camp and that would have been no crack, you know, that's, that's never any, any crack at all. 
heading home with your tail between your legs. Yeah, I'm not into it. <laughs> not into it. Cup of tea now in this big dirty cookie and I'll be laughing. I have a bit of porridge there that I'll, I'll probably have as well because it's only what coming up to half five. So I have loads of time. Loads of time. It's going to take a few nibbles to get that into here. <laughs> but we'll get there. You see the clag coming down, threatening to ruin the party. <laughs> oh, boys, it's cold. But I have a beautiful view. <sighs> happy days, happy days. Look at that sky. Oh baby. I have one little issue. I've only got one tea bag left. <laughs> oh, oh I have that coffee actually. I might try that. Where did I put that? It's in my little knick-knack bag, I think. Wherever that is. Oh, there it is. Hiding behind me. So spills brew, freeze-dried coffee. And there's a creamer in here as well. You get some amount of stuff in them ration packs. I'm gonna get the kettle back on now and uh, have a cup of coffee. What time is it? We still have 23 minutes of the sunrise. So hopefully that clag stays off. In fairness, I've been pretty lucky with the weather. As bad as things might seem, it could always be worse. <laughs> I don't know if that's a positive or a negative thing, but yeah. Just appreciate what you have, you know, while you have it. I'm getting out my me, me big cup for this one. This is a 600ml cup. And uh, it's the exact same as the smaller one, only it's bigger. <laughs> I did bring it for the porridge, but I've decided not to have the porridge now. I think 300 calories is enough for, for this morning's breakfast. I'll probably have another breakfast when I get home anyway. Look at the size of that. It's more of a bowl than anything, look. <laughs> yeah. They come as part of a set, you get um a spork with it, a little plate and a draining board, chopping board. It's a cool little thing. But uh and it's, I think it was only like twenty quid or something. So happy days and they're really solid, robust little things. Not bad. I can warm up my hands now as well, so <laughs> happy days. It's only quarter to seven. The sun is just tipping over the mountainside there. And uh, I'm all wrapped up, usual crack. I left no trace, just a flat piece of grass. I have no idea where I'm gonna end up next time. Hopefully you might stick around to find out. I'll see you soon. Good luck.